Well, five break-ins in two months, thieves striking again in Natomas. Now, this time around, a neighboring business also got hit. We're talking about the Togos and Baskin Robbins, and now a nutrition store located on Natomas Crossing Drive. So what the heck is going on there? That's where we find your reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Abadaka, with details. Tori. Tony Marley, these businesses are tired of seeing boards like this up on their windows. This board was on this window that's since been repaired, but you can see this one not repaired yet, as this is exactly what those suspects broke through and got off with thousands of dollars worth of stolen items and damages. And like you said, this isn't the only shop that was been hit. Two suspects caught on camera rushing inside the Togos and Baskin Robbins in Natomas, creeping behind the counter and ripping out registers. As a general manager of a business, it's scary because you don't know what they're capable of. General manager Kendra Parsons says the business has been hit five times in the past two months, twice in back to back nights this weekend. These last two times they've only gotten away with um, change in the drawer. So under $20. The glass windows they shattered are fixed. In business, back to usual. But Sacramento police still haven't caught anyone. So it's a waiting game. But then during the waiting game, we continue to get broken into. Max Muscle Nutrition in the same Natomas shopping center got hit by thieves the same night this weekend. It's already a struggle right now out there. So things like this just set you back even more. The owners of the mom and pop shop estimating twenty to thirty thousand dollars in stolen items and damages. So it started at like three twenty in the morning, somewhere around there, and they went all the way until after five AM. Oh my back and gosh. forth into my shop in Togo from three to five AM. They showed me the two suspects on a neighboring business's security video. That business did not want to share the video with us at this time. But at one point a security vehicle can be seen driving into the lot but didn't appear to notice what was happening. As of right now, I don't feel there's a lot of consequences for the people that are breaking in here. That's what Proposition 36 that's on the ballot hopes to change, creating harsher penalties than just misdemeanors for serial retail theft offenders. This returns us to a level of common sense in our in our policy in California. Sacramento County Assemblyman Josh Hoover says if you commit the crime more than twice, you'll face more time. And law enforcement will also be able to add up the dollar amount of stolen items if someone breaks in multiple places. We want to stay here. We want to serve the community. These business owners feeling vulnerable. It makes you worry for what the future is going to hold. Worrying if the suspects will strike again. Is it going to keep happening? How many times are we going to have to replace these products in the glass? So it's definitely discouraging, but both of these businesses are still open despite everything that happened. Sacramento police say that they do have an investigator on the break in from back in August to the Togos in Baskin Robbins. But as far as these latest break ins from this weekend, Sac PD says they have filed a report, but at this point they haven't been able to assign a detective just yet to these cases. These business owners just hoping that anyone, if you recognize those people in those videos, to come forward and say something to stop this from happening out here.